Forgotten Rivals of Catan, which is a two-player card game version of Settlers of Catan. It comes with four alternate ways to play, I think. And it's strangely addicting. We played a lot of nights in a row using different versions, and we still haven't played all the ways. I realize I'm good at winning when I only have to reach seven points, but when it goes beyond that, my chances of winning go down. I'm not sure why. We heard about it a while ago, of course, but after playing the table game, we were just like, well, it sounds like less fun, and how do you even play a card version? Basically the same way you play actual Catan. Except that you build as you go, instead of all at once. It works at my desk, but something a bit wider would be ideal, and as similar as it is, it feels totally different and interesting, so it's not like the first long drawn out version that I played with Alex and Forge. It's also nice because you feel less like you need beer to keep up. Maybe I just wanted an excuse. Speaking of, I should get some more. Also, unrelatedly, those things that say there's alcohol in it are terrible. I mean, it makes sense that they would be because they come in a warm bag and then you freeze it and then you warm it up and smish it and then plop it into a glass. But they managed to mess up a pina colada, so yeah. Save yourself the trouble. Mojitos, on the other hand, are really interesting drink, but I was barely able to finish mine. I'm a lightweight though, so it's really no surprise. Tomorrow is free RPG day, everyone. It's like free comic book day, but for role-playing games, so you should go find your game store and get a free thing. And now, for the winner of the epic basket of awesomeness. Katie! So, email me your address and you'll get all the things! And lastly, my cat eats my head.